Checky, check, 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 mic, check, mic, check. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, troops, wherever you are in the world. And welcome to the channel, Mark. That's me, my words, where we follow trading, traveling, and training. Before I do get into this very quick video, please do continue to hit that subscribe button down there. Nearly at 900 troops. We've nearly done it. Please, just a few more presses and we are there. So, a very quick video today. Uh, just one on the van. It's van themed. Um, I've been looking around for a 230, 240 volt um, hookup cable so that when I go to uh, campsites I can get permanent feed uh, electrics into the van. And what I've noticed is there's not many on the market. I can't find one apart from Amazon, but I prefer to go to shops and spend my money at local independent shops, to be honest. And I can't find them. So what I did was I went down to the local uh, DIY store where I live. And I bought the components that I will need to make my own. Uh, I got uh, the uh, 16 amp uh, IP44 uh, PCE uh, connectors. This one is the male. The female I've already wired up. Uh, I will show you that once I've done. But for the purpose of the video, I'm going to wire up the male one. It's exactly the same process for both troops. So don't worry. Uh, Phillips um, screwdriver and flathead as well if needed. Some wire crimps there. A small screwdriver, I'll show you what that's for. A craft knife, some insulation tape and some little grommets to neaten up the end of the wire. So first things first, <coughs> you have to dismantle the, uh, the plug there. And the way that we do that, I'll just move these to one side there. The way that we do that is we take this little uh, screwdriver here and on the plug itself, there's a little uh, black catch there. And what you have to do is you have to push that in and then twist it. Uh, there's directions there. You can see that and that unlocks the blue from the gray and that will come apart. So literally just pop your little screwdriver in there, push down, push it around until it clicks like that, unscrew it and then it comes off, okay? And then in there you can see you've got your three terminals. So we've got three terminals here and we have got uh, the earth, which is uh, the top one there. And then we've got, just struggling to see the light, uh, live there and neutral there, okay? And then the, the second part is uh, where obviously the wire feeds in through there. And I'm just gonna pop this open to show you what this looks like inside because there is some extra bit inside and then we'll thread the wire through uh, before we start chopping it. So it's got this uh, grommet thing here uh, and as, as you uh, uh, tighten this, it forces these together uh, and then that grips, grips the wire and stops it coming back out, okay? So we're gonna, we'll just pop that back on there. That just pops back on and screws on. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-feed the wire through, literally like that. And then that can just uh, run down the wire as needed until you need it later on, okay? Good, so onto the wire then, stripping the wire. What I found um, was I was having problems going circumferentially around uh, the outer sheath. Uh, and I found it easier actually to go longitudinally down and, and pull the wire back like that. So take your craft knife, nice and sharp. Uh, you just need a little bit of the, the tip showing. And then literally, you can see there. And you just run it very, very gently, ever so slightly, uh, longitudinally down the wire. About an inch and a half. And then you should be able to get your nail in there. If you can't, you might just need to go a little bit more just to get it started. But once you've scored it, there we go. Once you've scored it, it will actually open up all the way down where you scored it, okay? There we go, it's splitting open, look, you see? And that will go down as far as, far as you've scored it, okay? And what I find is, you can just then pop that back there, like that. There we go. And it stops you when you're trying to cut it circumferentially. You, you, can, you can nick these wires 
uh, and then you've got bare wire which means you have to chop it and start again because you don't want to be leaving uh, bare wire exposed in there these are powder coated so that if you do do it circumferentially you can just uh, slide that that excess off um, but I prefer like I said to do it longitudinally I find it a little bit easier um, so we're just going to strip these wires off first so we've got a blue one a brown one and a yellow and green one uh, brown is live blue is neutral yellow and green is the earth and they go into the corresponding uh, sockets there so we, we don't need that anymore um, what we're going to do wire strippers here we're just going to take off not too much they're not the best wire strippers buy cheap buy twice and all that but I'll do the job for now there we go you just whip those off like that same on this one oh man these are rubbish there you go troops lesson learned if you're gonna buy something buy spend the money on the decent stuff or else you end up there we go we got it anyway one more there we go again you don't need to take too much off we'll just whip a little bit more off the uh the blue one there just to tidy that up a bit he says <laughs> This is the reality troops of doing it yourself. Okay, so we got those off now. And then we're just going to um, twist the ends just to tidy them up a bit. Make them easier for the uh, connectors to go on. Stop any of the loose fraying wires getting out there. Just twist those like that. And then we'll get our three uh grommets here these come in different sizes so depending what thickness wire you've got these this is two and a half mil um here we go you can do it with one and a half i've seen people doing it with one and a half mil um but i prefer the two and a half mil just for that extra duration i've got a mate who's an who's an electrician and that's what he advised as well so we just pop these connectors on there like that and then we just crimp up the end just a couple of little nips on the end there like that next one okay just give those a little twist as you're putting them on it helps the helps the wire go through and crimp that up like that and then the last one that ends a little bit ragged we should be able to get that on there. There we go. That down there. Like that. A couple of little crimps on there. There we go. Now what I also like to do, troops, is I like to... I mean, you can see there on that one, there's some... There's a little bit of exposed wire. And me being, you know, super safe, just put a little bit of... Uh, insulation tape around the terminals there just to, that extra little bit of um, protection for them there's one you don't need a lot just a couple of times around obviously going on campsites and stuff it's going to be exposed to the elements so you know anything you can do just to Give that extra little bit of protection. It's a few extra seconds. It keeps it nice and neat. And it's peace of mind as well, more than anything. A little bit of insulation tape on there. And there we go. We're ready for wiring up. Okay, so as I said, you've got brown and blue for your live and your neutral. Uh, and we are here that's live so that's the brown one in there like that and then the blue one um in there like that whoops they just come out i just pop those in and then 
I'll do those first with the old Phillips screwdriver. There we go, just tighten these up. That's one. That's just popped out, but it's a little bit fiddly, troops. But once you've uh, once you've got one in, the rest just kind of slot themselves in there. So tidy that one up as well. And then we'll put the earth in there, green and yellow. And on this one, there's there's two screws in there for the earth. You just see those there. I'll just pop that in there. And then what you want to do is just a little field test. Just give it a pull there. Make sure they're not going to come out. Okay. And then one last thing. Another reason why I like to do it uh, longitudinally is that you can then cover that wire back up. Okay. You could chop off the excess. So you don't need that little bit there. You can get your uh, old wire snips there. You can cut that bit of excess off like that. Fold that back around the three wires, like that. And then with your isolation tape, insulation tape, you just fasten that up, like that. And again, it's probably overkill, um, because it's going to be covered by the, by the, the grey bit there the rest of the connector but you know better safe than sorry and for a few extra seconds you get that little bit of peace of mind that you've got that little bit of extra protection on there so it all looks nice and neat um, and it's all covered and that is it troops it's as easy as that so then we just get the we get the cap we we line up the black bit with the Thing. that just pops back in there and then twist and you'll hear it click there you go that's locked and then like I said uh, you tighten the back bit up and that grip that grab grips the and I'm pull, really pulling on that that's not going anywhere and that is it troops that is as easy as it is like I said I did the I did the female end earlier, so that's all um, that's all wired up as well, ready to go. Uh, I probably saved around uh, I probably saved around twenty pounds doing it myself. Uh, it's a twenty meter cable, by the way, so I got twenty meters of three core two point five. Um, it worked out just under two pounds a meter. Um, and when I was looking at them to buy online, I've, I've saved a few quid. So I've learned something. Uh, I feel like I'm contributing to the van and I'm not just, you know, giving everything to everybody else to do or taking the easy option. I'm trying to learn as I go along. Um, and there we are, all fully ready for a campsite hookup. So if you have enjoyed this video, troops, I do uh, appreciate if you could just give me a quick thumbs up before you move on to your next one. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers, troops.